Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and why not? He's here. He's here. Oh, look at you guys all working together. I wish I had been a part of this group. Oh, shit. He took him out. Let's add this to my 31 days of horror movie reviews. And I kind of randomly decided to watch a film that was on Hulu. It's called No One Will Save You. This is a 2023 film that was written, directed, and produced by Brian Duffield. And I can't say I would have heard of this film or become aware of this movie if it wasn't for a couple of the review YouTube channels that I follow and they talked about it and kind of gave it decent reviews. So I said, fuck it. I need as many horror movies to throw in 31 days, 31 movies. So I said, let's do this. And I watched it. And wow, <laughs> I have so many thoughts running through my head after watching this film. I will be honest, this is a hard movie to talk about without probably spoiling it. And I don't want to spoil it because it's a smaller movie. It's on streaming. I'm sure not a lot of people have seen it. So I kind of want to talk about it in a way that might get people to be curious Basically, the plot is we follow this character, Bryn, who she has gone through some fucked up shit in her life. She's clearly a little damaged, clearly a little scarred emotionally, and she's secluded. She doesn't really have friends or talk to anybody. Until one day, an alien invasion happens. And the movie kind of plays it up more like a home invasion, except for the aliens are kind of targeting her. And you're just following this girl try to survive this crazy thing. But because she has nobody, she's on her own in so many ways. Now, I liked a lot of things about this movie. First of all, the main actress who plays Bryn is Caitlin Dever. I don't think I've ever seen her before, or if I have, I don't remember. I thought she was good. And it's funny to say that, <laughs> that I thought she was good because she barely talks in this movie. One of the things that I think I appreciate this movie, and probably where most of my appreciation for this film comes from, is the filmmaking, is how it was made, probably more so production aspects of the film because this movie there's only five words of dialogue that can be heard that is spoken throughout this entire film and so that's why when i say that caitlin dever that she was good she doesn't talk she doesn't have like a whole lot of stuff to say because there's not a lot of people there's hardly anybody for her to interact with it's more so of her carrying this movie as far as being in these situations these stressful situations these dire i'm trying to survive and she sort of is able she's kind of capable and she's able to take care of herself in certain instances with these aliens and the movie is 93 minutes long and so the fact that they were able to get away with a movie at that length with barely any dialogue i was impressed with that they were able to tell her backstory in so many ways without again saying so much and also like i said alien invasion it's a smaller budget the budget's around 22 million dollars <laughs> and there are moments where you say, okay, this is lower budget. They're not trying to make this bigger than what it is. And then there's other times where it seems like they go for it, where they say, we're going to stretch our money and we're going to make you believe that this is a bigger movie than it really is. And we're going to have certain action moments and certain scenes of our main girl, Bryn, like dealing with the aliens and doing stuff that could be in any high budget action film and so i it 
it's impressive by how low the budget is that they were able to do certain sequences like that, but it was more of almost an indictment of when you see movies that are 200 plus million and it's just the CGI isn't always really there or it's always kind of like, how? Where did the money go? What producers are pocketing the money that you see for these budgets a lot of times? Because if you can make this movie for $22 million, there's no excuse. God damn it. And so many things happened that I don't want to get into, but I thought was very interesting in how things played out. And there's the ending, not the chain of events that lead up to the ending because all of that's fairly straightforward and enjoyable it's the very very last shot that confused the fuck out of me that made me go huh <laughs> literally out loud i said what <laughs> and so i sort of looked up some articles that talked about the ending or tried to explain the ending the director Brian Duffield, he purposely made an ambiguous movie so that the audiences can watch it and the movie, the ending can be whatever the fuck you want or it can mean what you want. It's not as if the movie cuts off without a real ending and we're supposed to fill in the blanks. No, because I would probably say fuck you if that was the case. No, this movie presents an ending, but it's so vague, so maybe confusing to some people that maybe you'll walk away and say, that sucked, I didn't, I didn't like it, because it's not straightforward. But I thought about it, and I saw some other people giving their opinions and giving their thoughts, and the fact that you can kind of just make up your own reasoning for the ending, or make up your explanation of what may have been happening the entire film, kind of interesting. I It, it, it might sound like, it's pretentious. It might sound like, oh, look, it's interpretive and blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit. I'm not this huge uh, <laughs> thinker when I'm watching movies. I don't really give a fuck about all that shit. But I was impressed with a lot of things about this film. And it's one of those movies that I got done watching and it made me kind of go, fuck. I want to do this. I want to make a movie at that level. And be able to just do it. To see if I can do it. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. I recommend No One Will Save You. I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've heard of the movie. Or if you saw it yourself. What did you think? Did you like it as well? Or do you... Maybe you didn't care for it. That's cool. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. <laughs>